How's it going guys? Welcome back to Dipscovery's channel. Um, today I'm actually showing you this new little lock bag I've bought for my uh, motorbike there. So what it is, is a, um, a lock bag you can put onto the frame of your bike um, and you can um, secure it and put your, well, your locks in, you know, like your disc lock or a uh, small chain or something like that and it saves you from carrying it around and it's really useful if you've got a mine which is a uh, Ducati X Diablo S um, and obviously the problem I've got in here there's like literally like zero storage even the under seat storage there's literally no room um, so we're going to be doing a look at this and see what we get inside and also fix it to the bike. All right guys, so here's the bag um, itself. So you can get this from Urban Rider. Um, I'll put a link in the uh, description there. Um, and that's the only place you can get it from. It's actually an Urban Rider exclusive. So you get the bag and then um, it comes actually from a company called Trip Machine, um, which is based in India, in New Delhi. And they're actually, uh, really uh, good and well known for their doing their real leather and um, kind of waxed uh, canvas, wax cotton kind of style uh, baggage and holders there. Um, so yeah, so this is the actual uh, front of the bag. Um, and then it comes with this little clasp there, which you can just tie on, it's like a belt buckle. And then on the back here, you've got these um, uh, points where you can uh, thread the belts that it gives you through and mount them on your bike. Now if you have a look on the pictures of the actual uh, bag on the website, uh, most um, people, uh, most of the uh, manufacturer recommends you kind of find a place on your bike to mount it here like you would kind of like a, a small pannier or something like that. But obviously I've got a, a Diavel um, and if you know anything about this bike is it's a very clean looking modern kind of design. It's very uh, uh, fashion over function and there's not really anywhere I can kind of mount this on the actual seat as you can see because they kind of show it with the, uh, uh, so it's a bit dirty at the minute, it does need to clean, but they do show it on like a Triumph Bonneville or a Royal Enfield and they normally have like frames here where the pillion kind of sits where you can put like a bag and strap it to it so I'm gonna struggle doing that but because it's a, a naked bike I do have these frames here so these are like um, the uh, under uh, tank frames and my kind of idea was not on this side but on the other side I was going to actually mount it there so um, if you can kind of see here on here on the frame on the other side um, I was thinking of uh, kind of putting it maybe here on these frames here so it'll kind of sit sit like that really so it kind of blends in with the aesthetic of the bike with the levers and stuff and it, doesn't, it shouldn't look too bad um, and it won't, once it's strapped in there on them frames um, and it shouldn't really get hot because the engine is a bit lower down this bit here is where it gets hot and this has got like a heat guard on it so it should just kind of go there quite nicely so um, so yeah let's have a look what we get inside so, if I open the thing up, uh, you've got the one buckle, sorry I've not got the uh, tripod today, but yeah, you get your one buckle, you can uh, unwrap it, you get this really nice kind of uh, wax canvas material made with a paraffin wax and it's got it on both sides, on the inside and the uh, outside, got a really nice thick leather base there, so it does feel solid and it smells really nice as well like you would get from a premium kind of leather product um, and it does feel like it's going to last a long time. Um, you have got in the sides here the buttons, little that you, helps keep it closed when you roll it over. So you got that. Then inside, let's have a look what we got. Quite a deep uh, bag once it's opened up and you get your straps. So this is a two little belt straps that obviously they're designed to go here on the back there um, and you've also got uh, a little instruction manual with some stickers and an about us card and this kind of tells you uh, I've had a look at it before kind of tells you 
how to take care of the the bag should it ever get dirty now obviously being a wax canvas um, you can't just kind of scrub it or drench it or anything like that if you do get a bit of dirt on that you want to wipe off um, they, they recommend using like a brush kind of like you do with like a, a suede shoe brush something like that to try and scrub it off if that's not working then spot clean it with a little tiny bit of, uh, of um, cold water and then try and rub it off um, but yeah you have to try and be careful not to douse it you know um, it has got an inner kind of material of lycra to help with that um, uh, water resistance so you do get that and uh, there's nothing else really on the back now they do say there's two ways of mounting it now you can either uh, you know on the outside spread the uh, buckles through as you would normally just you know through these these holes here but another way you could do it is you can slit makes two slits there that'll go through on the inside and then you can actually thread if you have a look here you probably can't see but if you have a look there where that is there you can thread this through the inside instead and then hook it around that way so then your buckles are actually on the inside instead of the outside probably make it a little bit more secure so if someone tries to tinker with it then it'll be a bit more difficult for them so because they'll have to open up the inside but yeah that's the kind of idea and the plan is it's a lock bag so when you're kind of done with your uh, disc lock um, you can uh, take it off and you can throw it in here and it'll fit in quite nicely but it is actually big enough to house maybe like a pack of like uh, waterproof overalls as well like a um, uh, you know uh, that you get in a little bag that you can chuck over you can it's big enough to kind of do that as well so I'm just gonna just put this thing on and let's see what it looks like How's it going guys? So I've got the actual bag on the Diablo right now. As, as you can see from the video, it was really easy to fit. You've only got two straps, you've just got to make two cuts at the back. And I've decided to loop it from the, uh, the inside, going through, round the uh, frame, then into the back of the bag. And it's a really, really secure fit. Now, one thing, um, they, inside the manual, it says you're supposed to get two leather belts for the mountain plus an optional velcro belt which is supposed to pin the top uh, back like that so it doesn't hang so low but in the package that I got the velcro belt was actually missing and I rang Urban Rider and they said their batch at the moment that they've got now is missing the belt so they're in talks with their manufacturer uh, trip machine um, to get those belts in for the the bags so that's something to bear in mind if you, it should come with the velcro belt but it's not got it so um if you ha are ordering one of these and it's missing give uh, urban rider a shout and hopefully they'll be able to send you out a belt so yeah if you did have the belt it'll be pinned up a bit higher up like that and it'll be a bit more level um which will look nicer now i've just kind of loaded it up quickly it looks, looks quite nice on the bike goes with the whole kind of aesthetic with the the leather seat and that and the black frame works quite well um you know you've got this really uh, reassuring chunky buckle here and i'll just show you what i've put in it now it is decent you can fit decent stuff in there so at the moment i've got one can of coke i've got two cans of coke <laughs> And I've got my disc lock as well. So it's got room for your disc lock and two cans of Coke comfortably. Now you could fit probably a little bit more in if you were squeezing it and didn't roll the top quite as much. Maybe did it like that a bit more looser and could fit more stuff in there. But you know, for, for just like your lock and your maybe your waterproofs, it's absolutely ideal and I definitely recommend it. It's very cool and I just hope the only thing is it won't get that too dirty, um, uh, you know, where it is. Uh, this part of the frame doesn't really get that dirty, 
Um, but uh, this will be bear in mind, if you do want to wash your bike and you're a bit overzealous with the hose pipe, it might be worth just chucking a plastic bag around the bag so it doesn't ruin the wax canvas uh, while you are cleaning it. Um, that's something to bear in mind. But um, other than that, it's a really, really nice piece of kit and it's a good solution to where you're going to put your lock on your Ducati Diablo. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, please drop us a like and subscribe and drop a comment down if you have any questions. And I'll catch you on the next one.